every day. I always call him for advice. I always call if I need to bounce something off of him, and uh, he's the, the guy that's gonna shoot me the truth. Being in the Army, he wakes up very, very early. So when I'm driving in to work, I'll get my daily dose with my dad in the morning. For Texas cornerbacks coach Jason Washington, the daily phone call with his father James is the highlight of his day. A chance to seek wisdom from a man who has sacrificed a lot for his family and his country. I wanted to just graduate, you know, and get a degree. I always wanted to teach. They was doing the draft. The service got me. I graduated one month and got inducted in the service the next month. James was deployed to Vietnam in September 1965. Well, the first tour I was attached to the 25th Infantry Division. Where I was located, it was not one of the fun parts of Vietnam. Chukuchi, that hobo woods, and operating out of that area was just not uh, the ideal place that you wanted to be in Vietnam. A lot of the ambushes, water sometime up until I ankle and knees there most of the time over there. During his 12 months in Vietnam, James was wounded three separate times. One of them, they're driving over in a tank and driving over a landmine. The landmine doesn't detect it and the landmine blows them up. That's the only way that they could stop these vehicles from coming, but they learned to sit in the mine. And they blow us up to stop us. Riding up there and had a 50 caliber, you know, machine gun on top of it. And when they blew the track up, the mine, the butt of the gun hit in the mouth. And the impact shoots him up to the top of the tank, uh, loses some of his teeth and his tongue. It was just one of those situations that I got stuck into that I had to survive and get out of. I just didn't give up, you know. It was just, you know, I was going to make it, you know. I'm not going to give up on this situation. I'm not going to let what had happened to me destroy me. James was sent to Fort Hood to recover. He was discharged from the Army in 1967 and eventually became one of the first black principals in Waco. His commitment to continuing his teaching career had a significant impact on Jason, who was following in his dad's footsteps and using lessons from his father to inspire his players. Let's go to work, let's have a good day today. Let's have a good day today, all right? Family on three, one, two, three, family. It takes a lot of hard work to be successful. Nothing comes easy, and, uh, and that's one thing that I learned from him, uh, especially when he was going to, into Vietnam, was he's gonna have to work his way out to, to get to where he needs to be, and he taught me that. I can't thank him enough. He's my hero. I just wanna make sure his legacy carries on, and I'm part of it.